In this video, we're going to be looking at Photomatix Pro, one of the pioneers in HDR merging software, and running through its four best features for HDR merging with a special emphasis on iPhone HDR brackets. Before running through the best features, let's do a quick walkthrough on how to use it. So here I am in Photomatix. Let's open the JPEG brackets. By the way, all the iPhone exposure brackets, both RAW and JPEG, were shot with our partner app, Aura HDR Camera, which was recently updated to version 9, and now includes an all-new focus stacking camera. Do check it out on the App Store. The most important setting in this view is a line source image. I'll make sure to enable it. I'll also disable show ghosting and reduce noise. The latter setting to my eyes makes the result a little bit too soft and makes the image lose a little bit too much detail. I'll click the align and merge button and that will begin the merging process. There, merging is done. Photomatix has a host of settings on which to customize the look of your HDR. In terms of HDR settings, I recommend the Contrast Optimizer style, which I find works best for iPhone images. So that's how you use Photomatix. Next, let's run through its four best features. The first best feature is excellent image quality. Even with just the default settings, Photomatix produces images of vibrant color making the image pop without looking too over-processed, as you can see here. In addition, I found it handles noise and ghosting very well out of the box, consistently producing a clean, artifact-free image. Here are some examples of its merging results. The second best feature is its wide editing latitude. Photomatic's powerful sliders work great with the underlying HDR and not just the final JPEG image, as most other HDR editors do. And this allows for greater dynamic range in your editing. I particularly like its luminance slider and wide clip slider, which allows me full control to brighten the highlights to achieve a more natural looking image. The third best feature is its batch processing. If you have a ton of HDR brackets, you'll be glad to know that Photomatix allows for batch processing, which not only is easy to use, but extremely customizable. For example, you can process the entire list of brackets from a single folder or have each set of brackets in individual subfolders. I prefer organizing my brackets in subfolders. In addition, the batch processing of Photomatix allows for changing a ton of HDR settings in the same way as manual editing to customize the look of your HDR. The fourth best feature is DNG export. If you want to perform further editing on an exported file using third-party editors like Affinity Photo, then you'll be happy to know that Photomatix allows for exporting to DNG. The benefit of this is the wide latitude and dynamic range you can get editing in this format. To save to DNG, I'll set the option during export. Next, I'll open the file in Affinity Photo for further processing. As you can see, the file is opened in Affinity's develop persona automatically and treats the file as raw. Using its basic sliders, you can see the wide dynamic range and access to the underlying raw data compared to if you're working with JPEG. So those were the four best features of Photomatix. How about disadvantages? Are there any? While Photomatix is a powerful HDR merging tool, it is not perfect. One drawback I've found when dealing with iPhone raw files is it incorrectly processes the images upside down which requires an extra step to correct, as you can see here. Also, it didn't handle brackets with bright lights particularly well, as in this example, 
although the problems can be mitigated by adjusting certain settings. So there you have it, the best features of Photomatics Pro. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Also, don't forget to check out our partner app, Aura HDR Camera, in the iOS App Store, the best app for computational photography. See you in the next video.